hindi kaya yun. Hindi ba ba? Tinanong na, hindi sisikita natin yun. That's like the passport. Paano yung baba ba? Kinuwenta na lang yung sunod magsasaka. Eh, yung sa palay lang. Basta hindi, hindi visible. Ngayon, kung gawin ng subsidy, how much? Ilan na magiging dent nito sa national budget natin if government will subsidize the price of uh, rice in this country? Uh, I don't think it's viable. Sa amin, of course, it has not productivity ng farmers. Uh, a review of the implementation, at least the implementation of the rice clarification law should be uh, in order. Next, it has not been research and development R&D. Because the price of uh, fertilizer sumobra na taas dahil oil based. So, sinabi ko kanina during the town hall meeting na meron tayong UP Biotech in UP Los Banos uh, where we augmented, you know, in namin yung budget nun for how many years? And they are able to procure laboratory equipment na nagpo-produce sila na ngayon ng organic fertilizer na mas magaling pa, mas maganda pa kaysa sa oil based na binibigyan ng mga farmers. That's a big boost to our farming industry. And we will continue to uh, pour in resources to our research and development, not only in the agricultural sector, but in other sectors as well. Because we have lots of talents here. Ang problema, nag niya because walang government support. Imagine 0.4% of the national budget, yun lang naka-allocate, naka-appropriate sa research and development. I-respond lang natin at least 1% or 2%. Kasi point four to me is really titans. Kaya hindi tayo mga senso, lang kung ginagawa na lang natin import ng import unless the Department of Agriculture is really that friendly to the rice and vegetable importers which we don't want to believe. But as we see it, parang gano'n ang direksyon. Import na lang ng import. Tinapatay natin ating agricultural sector. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.